If your YouTube feed looks anything like mine, it's probably filled with suggestions on Python right now. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Do you actually need to know Python? And I'm gonna break it down really simple for everybody. So you will know if you really need to know Python or not. So to keep this simple for us, I basically asked out on Twitter and LinkedIn, what is your job title and how do you utilize Python in that role? And I created a spreadsheet with some of these results that we got. I will link to these threads for Twitter and LinkedIn in the description below. So you guys can go and check those out if you would like, but let's go over this spreadsheet because the data here is really phenomenal. And I say data very specifically for a reason. So in this handy dandy spreadsheet that I have created here, we have the job role and then we have how Python was used. So I'm not gonna go over each and every one of these, but I will provide a link to a Google Sheets for this so you can look at this directly if you would like. But there are some that I would definitely like to highlight because as I was going over this, I wasn't exactly that surprised, I would say. I, I kind of knew this was coming, but just the response that we got, and we only had 49 responses from this, but what it can tell us, or what it really did tell us from the spreadsheet is that everybody who utilizes Python is utilizing it for some type of automation or, and or I should say, data. And that's honestly from my experience and my knowledge with Python, in every way that I have seen Python being utilized. So I know a lot of people come to the IT Career Questions YouTube channel trying to get advice about what they need to learn going forward in their careers. Maybe you're just getting started out and some people are telling you, hey, you should probably learn Python but does it actually make sense for you to learn Python? And I ask you that because if you take a look at these job roles, it basically lays out whether you need to utilize Python or not. There are two more entry-level roles on this job list that answered this question. And one of those is from Terminals and Coffee on Twitter. Thank you for answering this question. I appreciate you. Just wanted to give you a shout out. <laughs> They're in desktop support. They don't utilize Python, but they use PowerShell. So that's definitely something to take note of. And I definitely can see that. And you're, if you're in some type of desktop support or help desk position, you may often utilize PowerShell a lot more than Python. With the other person who's in the help desks just says they don't use it. And this third person who says that they're an IT lead technician, they say they use it to automate everything possible, whatever that means. Now going through this list, there's a few things that we can learn. If we look at some of the cybersecurity positions, you're gonna see that they utilize Python to help automate some of the tasks that they're doing. Some of the network engineers also utilize Python to do the same thing, but as you are going to see going through the spreadsheet, some network engineers are just learning Python to help them automate the things. But overall, what we're going to gather and what we're going to learn ultimately from this spreadsheet is that Python is heavily used to help you automate tasks that you're already doing and to help you gather data and also take that data and do other things with it. So Python is really there to help you to automate the things and make your life easier. But do you absolutely need to know Python right now? No, absolutely not. What you can do from taking a look at the spreadsheet is look at these different roles. Are those the types of positions or types of job titles that you are looking to achieve? If they are, then yes, you definitely should be taking a look at Python if they are telling you that they're utilizing it in their position. These are real world people out there telling you how they use Python in their specific job role. So again, are those job roles what you're looking for? If it is, then definitely take a look at learning more Python. And ultimately what you can think about, is there any way that I can utilize Python to automate the things in my job? Or is there a way that you can utilize Python to help you gather data and more information about things that you're doing in your position or things that you're doing in your organization? There was one instance where I saw somebody working in help desk was utilizing Python to pull an API from their help desk ticketing system so that they can grab the tickets that were coming in first before anybody else could. And I thought that was a phenomenal way to utilize Python in an entry level position. If they thought outside of the box and how they could utilize Python to automate something for them and use that for their advantage. And I think that's just a fantastic way that you can just think about ways to utilize Python because honestly, there are a ton of different ways that you can use Python to do things for you as you saw from that spreadsheet. So again, it's not gonna be needed in every single IT role that's out there. And it's not something that you're going to need to know all the time. It's something that I never really had to learn, but I had an interest in learning. And I can tell you from personal experience, the best way to learn any programming language is to understand first what you want to create with that programming language, meaning 
What is it that you actually want to build with it? What is it that you actually want to do with it? If you can figure that out, then it can make that learning process of learning programming maybe a little bit more enjoyable. And again, from my firsthand experience writing a Python script, it was definitely pretty difficult to do, but I would say out of all the different programming languages I've ever tried to learn in the last 20 plus years, Python has probably been the easiest one for me to pick up on and understand. But I also had a project that I was really passionate about learning and understanding more about. And this is a scraping script that I built in Python that goes out and searches jobs out on Indeed and it comes back and delivers information about those jobs. I do still wanna create a video on this. So if there's anybody out there who still watches this channel who's gonna give me a hard time about that, I'm just doing this to point that out. I still really do wanna make a video on that. It's, it's, yeah. Getting that script to actually work and deliver the data, the information that I wanted it to was phenomenal. Now I could have went out and indeed.com and done a job search for each and every job description that I was looking for. And I could have thrown that in an Excel sheet manually, but Python let me automate that entire process where I just simply wrote the script out and hit start and it automated that process and went out and indeed it searched for every single job description for every single state and it listed how many jobs were in that state for that specific position that was like the coolest thing that i've ever done and it was thanks to Python that I was able to do that. So maybe at this point you're considering whether you should learn Python or not. And if you are, I would strongly suggest heading over to the Cyber Mentor YouTube channel where he has an entire Python uh, video that walks you through the fundamentals of Python. I have it listed here on the screen, as you can see. It's about three hours long, but it really helps you lay out the fundamentals of learning Python. And I think it can be very beneficial to you. And if you like his teaching style, you'll definitely enjoy this video as well. And you're probably wondering about a project. Now, this isn't exactly a project that you're going to start from start to finish, but Heath put out a video just recently about stealing Wi-Fi passwords, and you can do this with Python. I think that video can provide a ton of value in just showing you firsthand how powerful Python can actually be. All right, so if you're that person who's like, I'm never going to use Python, I hate programming, I never wanna touch it, see it, don't even talk to me about Python, I'm actually gonna tell you why you should learn Python or more specifically, why you should at least understand the fundamentals of Python. So why it would be very beneficial for you to just check out that free video from Heath Adams, just so you can understand the fundamentals of Python. Not telling you that you need to become an expert in Python or that you need to write your own scripts by any means, but any IT professional should at least have some type of understanding of like Python fundamentals or other scripting fundamentals, Bash, PowerShell, even the command prompt. Those basic fundamentals will always help you throughout your career. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. Now I'm gonna tell you again firsthand from my experience, I hate programming. I just, I cannot handle it. It's not something that my brain can process. It just does not compute, okay? It's not my jam. But I can take a look at many different scripts and have a good fundamental understanding of what it does. And that's why I feel like every IT professional should at least have fundamental understanding of scripting languages, PowerShell, Python, Bash. It's a great thing to at least know, okay? Now, I can take a look at this script right here. This is the script from Heath Adams' last video. Like we talked about, the link's in the description below. When you go to that video, it's gonna take you to the GitHub where you can get this script. So I didn't write this script. Heath wrote this script, or I should say, Heath had help writing this script, which you'll hear about in that video. But I know that I can take a look at this just by knowing the fundamentals of Python and how I can have a basic understanding of what it's going to do. Now, again, keep in mind, I am not a Python expert. I'm just gonna go over this at a very basic fundamental level so that anybody watching this video can understand because that's what's most important here. If you wanna correct me in the comments, by all means, feel free to do so. And I strongly encourage you to do that. So from the basic understanding that I have of Python, I could take a look at the script, kind of understand what it's going to do. And that alone is very important. And I'm gonna tell you why. And that's why we're coming to you like this in the big face. Because anytime you come across a random script in your environment, in the environment that you're working in, and you're like, that doesn't look right, I've never seen that before, what you can do is open it up. You can open it up in a text editor, your text editor of choice, right? And you can take a look through the code in that script, whether it's a batch file, whether it's a PowerShell file, a Python file, 
you open it up in your, your text editor and you can start reading through it. And just by having a basic fundamental knowledge of these scripting languages, you should be able to get an idea of what that script is going to be doing. So I know taking a look at this first line of code where it says import subprocess OS sys, that's basically going out to the Python library and pulling on like pre-existing code. It or more or less, it's helping you kind of further automate your process in building your Python script. So like subprocess and OS with Python importing those specific modules, if you will, again, probably not the proper name for that. Correct me below. You guys are good at that. It's just kind of helping you automate the process a little bit easier. That's the best way to put it. If you go through the course with Heath, he'll explain this a little bit better. But I know in my head exactly what this is doing. I'm not gonna be able to maybe explain it to you the best because I wouldn't teach Python, but I know what this is doing. So I know in my head, if this Python script is importing things, I can go out and Google and say, what does import subprocess do? Or what does import OS do in Python? And it's going to tell me, right? So I know that if there's anything else in that import field, I can go out and Google and see what it's trying to import. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know, but we can definitely go out on Google and find out what it is that it's trying to import to help with this script building process. So going further through this video, I don't wanna kind of complicate things any further for you, but I know looking at this URL, it's giving a defined URL parameter. So that's interesting, all right? So that's this URL that's being used, it's gonna be called somewhere else within the script, meaning somewhere else in the script, it's gonna refer back to that URL. And it's just gonna say URL and what Python is gonna say, well, URL equals this HTTPS webhook site, right? That's my basic understanding of Python. Again, I can go through this script and look at these things and have some kind of understanding of what's going on. I'm gonna skip this payload part because I'm gonna let Heath explain that. So going to this next part here, this command underscore output, it says this equals subprocess. Well, we know in the import there, we imported the subprocess. So What's this going to do? Well, it's gonna run NetSH. Well, now if you know what NetSH does, we can start taking a look at this a little bit further and try to build upon like in our head what it's going to be doing. So it says WLAN export profile clear, all right? And then capture output equals true, all right? So this next part, print command output. So what that is going to do, what I know about Python, and I haven't even watched this video yet, haven't even gone through the script like officially, never even ran the script yet. I know that it's going to print this output here. So print command output, it's actually going to print out this process. It's going to automate the process of running NetSH. It's going to grab the WLAN information, which is your wireless LAN information, and it's gonna grab information about that profile and export it. So uh, we know based on this video of we're going to steal your Wi-Fi credentials. This is part of that process and helping us steal those credentials. Our Python script is gonna automate this process for us. So if somebody ran this script, right? If you ran the script on your computer right now, it is going to pull off your Wi-Fi credentials. So you're going to be able to see what your Wi-Fi password is through running this script. That's basically boiling down the rest of the script, what is going to happen. But I'm going to let Heath walk you through this entire process because he's going to do a much better job of it. The point of me touching and highlighting a few of these things here was, hey, I'm not a Python expert. I could never write this script off the top of my head. I would have to Google this for days. But I know just from understanding the fundamentals of Python, I can look at this and know what it's going to do. And it's not because, well, that video title told us what it's going to do. It's ultimately because I kind of understand what these things mean. And that's really my overall point of why everybody should kind of learn Python. Again, it's not to be an expert. It's just because at some point in your career, you might run across a Python script out there in the wild and it's in your environment and you have no idea what it does. And that's not a good thing. You should definitely take a look at that and try to understand what it does because it could be a very bad thing. But just summing up this entire video, I just wanted you to figure out how you could understand whether you actually need to learn Python or not. 
in most cases, you don't really need to learn Python, but in all cases, learning Python is going to be very, very helpful for you. I hope you found this video useful. If you like it, you know what to do. All that YouTube stuff that those YouTubers love to say about liking, subscribing, supporting the channel, and all that crazy wild stuff. You could do that if you'd like, but you don't have to. Thank you for watching, and as always, take it easy.